Hi everybody, this is TT Readings and this reading is going to be for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you Capricorn for the next few months. So we will see what messages come up for Capricorn for the next few months. You can check out the link in the description box Capricorn. It will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with, the person on your mind, what's happening next between the two of you, what to expect, um, what does spirit want you to know, as well as your self-love message. All of that will be linked in the description box for you guys, okay? Now let's see, what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? We have the Two of Pentacles that wanted to come out. I see you making choices in the next few months, mainly when it comes to your finances, your business, um, could even be about traveling or moving. Okay, we will see. The Ten of Pentacles, I just said that. Seems to me like you will be making important decisions with your money. Um, you're going to be making a lot of money in the next few months, but you also are going to be having to spend your money. There could be expenses. There could be, I'm hearing the word luxury. So whatever that might, you know, um, mean for you. I'm also wear, uh, wearing, <laughs> I'm I'm also seeing that this is about um, a relationship or perhaps something related to your family, okay? Uh, but I really am seeing you making important decisions, okay? For some of you, there is... Um, there's a relationship where there was lack of commitment and I see you making that choice about that relationship as well. It's like whether or no I should be a part of it. You know what I mean? Something like that. Let's see. Eight of Cups, yeah. I see you walking away very, very strongly, okay? I see you walking away. Um, I see a very head of a heart approach in the next few months for you, okay? When it comes to certain situations, if you will feel like they're not fulfilling enough for you or they're not fulfilling at all, I don't think that you're gonna be a part of it, okay? Point blank period. Something is also going to be revealed to you, okay? So this is going to be about, yeah, it's going to be about something being revealed to you, okay? You have the Six of Pentacles. What I'm really getting here is that Something with your money is going to change drastically, okay? Look at that, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Capricorn. I see good money coming your way. And I also see you in this position where, you know, you're giving to other people, okay? So you could be somebody in your family, you know, who maybe helps or whatever the case might be. I also see you helping people, okay? Um... But that has a lot to do with you making money. Something about your business, like, come on Capricorn, good money coming your way. Okay. And I see a sense of balance in the future. So I see you making important choices in your life. But I also see you making those choices to move towards balance. That is nice. We have the four of wands, absolutely. It's about stability. 
it's about balance nine of pentacles so capricorn you're getting the eight and the nine of, oh, sorry the nine and the ten of pentacles together okay so this is the ultimate this is the ultimate independence wish fulfilling energy um I see some of you will be walking out of a relationship and wanting to be single, wanting to be just left alone for some time, okay? You may feel like... Yeah, it's like, you know, I want to be alone. I want to find some alone time and then I'll see what I want to do. Uh, but mainly, I don't see your focus being a lot towards... relationships okay i see your focus being a lot on your money and stuff uh with the four of wands energy there for some of you you want to purchase a home or you want to invest money somewhere like you're working towards your stability right so i see you it's like you're, you could be you know investing somewhere or it's about a house or something of that so birds are messengers and with the four of wands here, I feel like there is this reading to me, Capricorn is giving me very intuitive messages. It's giving me a sense of balance. So in the next few months, um, things will change in your life in a way where you will get rid of everything that doesn't serve you anymore. And I feel like that is starting right from when you will watch this reading. Okay, your energy. This is a very interesting energy. Yeah, the strength which is Leo energy up until August. So I see inner strength here. I see you holding on to your inner strength. I see you being very strong emotionally, even financially, okay? Interesting. Let's see. I will also be uh, pulling out cards for what to expect towards the end. So stick around till the end for that one, okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So many Pentacles here, Capricorn. What's up with that one? Perseverance. Um, you're you're very grounded with your approach, okay? Um, and you're somebody, Capricorn, who can handle it. Even you know, it's like having choices, but being able to perhaps handle those choices. We have the Devil. You could be walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore, but you're still looking forward to something here with the Three of Wands energy. And what you're expecting is coming towards you even. I'm going to have to see what is the devil about. Mm -mm. I'm going to tell you something, Capricorn. Be very, very mindful with your money, where you're spending it, because I see you making good money. But I see you overindulging, overspending. Some of you are wanting to travel even, okay. Ooh. Your what to expect cards. Tell me more about the devil energy. Seven of Swords. Who is this person? Who is this person? There is somebody you are walking away from because you feel like the situation seems to be mentally draining and toxic for you. And it almost looks like you have a hard time walking away from the situation. This person is watching you. This person is keeping tabs on you. Okay. And there is somebody who just never wants to let you go, Capricorn. Point blank period. This person is not wanting to let you go. Okay. They're holding on to you. Um, but there seems to be a very um, sneaky vibe about this person. Okay, so what's so sneaky here? For some of you, there was a truth revealed, okay? Yeah, I see somebody coming towards you. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I see somebody coming towards you. Um, but you kind of have your back turned, okay? 
you you feel like it's better to be single than to be with somebody who makes you feel alone, who makes you feel depleted, okay? Point blank period. Some of you are looking forward to be in a relationship, but you feel like it's sometimes it seems very impossible, okay? Because your past relationship, a couple of them at least, have been very disappointing. And then you start holding back. You know, you often think about being in a relationship, even marriage, but then you're like, okay, if this is not meant to be, then I cannot force it, you know, that kind of an energy I'm getting. I see somebody coming towards you. Tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Mm -mm. I see you going through healing, Capricorn. And I see you in this... Ooh, this is like that very firm head over heart approach that you have. I see you cutting out people. I see you being very assertive with your needs and very like focused in the next few months, okay? I just see you very focused uh, and I see you prospering in your career and things like that. Very practical. Um, I do see you thinking about relationships, but at the same time, I feel like you are not expecting or you won't be expecting that as much, okay? Something in the past has been very... Um, it's, it's almost giving me a very deceptive and secretive vibe, okay? That could be the reason why you're walking away now. Some of you feel like you've got a lot to handle already and you cannot just, you know, pile up on your things to worry about, you know? So you're, you're going to be very clear with your decision making in the next few months and you might even leave something behind with the Five of Pentacles. But the Five of Pentacles here, because you're making such good money with the Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles can represent expenses here, okay? So just keep that in mind. I'm trying to give you an all-rounder of a reading where love and money both are involved, okay? Um, so, yeah. Let's see what to expect. We have the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Hierophant Energy. So see, we have the Queen of Swords here. Then we have the King of Swords here. What I'm seeing for you happening is that there is there is somebody coming in, okay, for you. Um, the person that you're supposed to be with in the long run, because we have the Hierophant energy here. There's marriage. For some of you, marriage could already be a part of the situation. For others of you, I do see marriage or a relationship coming in. But it's going to happen when you least expect it. And I see two different people you have this Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords kind of an energy coming towards you. And then you have a very different King of Pentacles, King of Swords energy. So this is somebody different. This is a, like a boss. This is somebody who could, you know, own a company or owns something. Like somebody very uh, stable and very grounded at the same time. This person is going to be very similar to you, okay? I feel like both of you are going to have very similar ambitions, very similar choices okay a uh, similar perspective this person is also seeming very practical but i feel like you you're gonna have uh, a more emotional side to yourself than this one this person is gonna take a long time to open up to you but this is somebody who's good for you and that you can have a relationship with this person okay so if you're if, if you're just wanting to know what kind of qualities to look for in your partner, I would say look for stability more so than looks and charm because that hasn't worked out for you in the past. OK, let's just put it like that. It could be a male or a female, but I'm getting somebody who takes responsibility, somebody who's clear with their thoughts. Um, th this person could be older than you as well. OK, I'm really seeing somebody coming in your life in the future and it's going to happen when you are least expecting it. When, even when you're not expecting it, okay? Um, I see you resting. I see you rejuvenating in the next few months, okay? Good money. And two different people in love, okay? Do check out the extended, which will be linked in the description box, Capricorn, to find out what's happening next between you and your person. What about new love? And what does Spirit want you to know as well as your self-love message okay all of that will be linked in the description box for you guys okay hmm. 
Now let's see what do we have for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? They are not able to forget you. There's somebody who's not able to forget about you, all lies on you, but you're gonna be having options in love. Yeah, money coming in, I told you. I see good money for you. Someone has a crush on you. I see good money, okay? And I see more than one person approaching you, point blank period, okay? Let's see. What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn, please? I did see worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life interesting what do we have for capricorn Ooh, okay we have true love this is a romance of a lifetime i do see love coming your way we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now for a lot of you this change is going to happen sooner than you think let's just put it like that but it's going to happen when you're not expecting it keep that in mind okay it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all but are you willing to open up to love? Mm -hmm. You and your loved ones are safe. I feel like a new cycle in your life is going to start with the new moon in Cancer and full moon in Aries. Something is going to come to an end and then something is going to stop, okay? For some of you, there may have been some difficult situations with your family or your love situation, whatever the case might be. But I feel like that is going to work out for you really well. I'm also seeing that there was something that was really bringing out the fiery energy in you, okay? And I see that working out. No, I mean... Whatever it is that you are putting a lot of work and effort into, okay, that is going to bring you a fruitful reward. You know what I mean? I, I hope you got my point. Let's get you one more. Yeah, full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Very important to stay balanced in your approach um, and let the rest flow, okay? That's it. Those were the messages that popped out for Capricorn. Do give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed. You can um, check out the extended version to find out what's happening next in your life. What is the advice from spirit and your self-love message? It will be linked in the description box if you're interested. Take care, Capricorn, and bye-bye.